Hi there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and uh, your love and money mentor with loveyourselfsuccessful.com. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, today in this video email newsletter, video easing, about identity, about purpose, and about really going out into the world and being really super clear on who you are, what you do, who you provide um, services for, and how you help people, how you serve people in order to fulfill your highest purpose. So it's a lot to cover in a short video, but uh, make sure you are also getting the written email newsletters in, in your emails because I actually am adding to some of this today inside the newsletter. So make sure you're signed up for that. Um, if you're just seeing the video for the first time, send me an email and um, ask me for more information about this. I'm happy, happy to oblige. I think it's really important as a business owner, whether you're a man or a woman, to be extremely clear on what it is you do, what you sell, what kind of transformation you provide, what services you provide, and who they're for and how they benefit them. And one way to do this is to really dive into who you are, who you are and who you're meant to serve. And um, sometimes the who you are actually evolves, right? So who you were a few months ago might be completely different than who you are now. Who you are going to be in about a year from now is going to be completely different than where you are now. That's if you're continuing to grow and learn and expand your knowledge or your mindset, your heart, your expertise, and all of that. Um, you want to continually be growing and evolving, and that's a good thing. I know it's scary for a lot of people to grow and change and, and do different things and evolve and come into new ideas because that means you have to change things in your business, maybe your website, maybe your marketing or your services. You have to relaunch things, and it's complicated and it takes a lot of work, right? It doesn't have to, of course, but that's what we perceive a change to do is be hard and take a lot of work or a lot of time or a lot of money to make those shifts and evolutions. Uh, but, you know, if you're not shifting and evolving and growing in your business on a regular basis, I'm talking all year long, every year in your business, you might not be getting where you really want to go. So it's really important to know where it is you really want to go, meaning your higher purpose. What is your higher purpose? I was at a, a conference recently where, well, let me back up. So I've always been told you need a purpose. What is your purpose, right? One purpose. And my purpose was evolving. And it feels like there's multiple purposes, right? I mean, we have... Um, purposes in our family, what we want for family, we want to serve clients, we want to maybe serve hundreds of thousands of people across the world with whatever our gift is. And it seems like there's m more to it than just one purpose. So actually myself, being in business for 10 years, I'd evolved my purpose quite significantly since I started. I had no idea I could even make $100,000 when I started or go global, right? So my purpose has really skyrocketed to being able to do and be a lot bigger and do a lot more bigger things um, with a lot more people and help a lot more people than I ever thought possible when I started. But along the way, it's, it's kind of confusing because you're like, well, am I this or am I that? And so I want you to, um, so when I was at this recent conference, one of the ideas around purpose was that you could have three purposes. You could have a personal purpose, a professional purpose, and a global purpose. And maybe you're thinking, well, I don't know what my global purpose is, and, and it could be anything. It could be, you know, less violence in the world. It could be world peace. It could be um, for everybody to get along, for, for happiness, for love, for harmony. It could be all kinds of things. It could be um, no more starvation, no more homeless. It could be really big. It could be just a feeling for the global universe, right? So now that I, I see that I could put my purpose into three different categories, it makes a lot more sense to me. And hopefully you'll take this and go, huh, you know, how can I do this in my life too? And I think it's more clear now. 
because when I initially introduced myself, right, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach, I've been doing that forever with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. I'm working with entrepreneurs or people who want to start a business on what to do, how to do it, how to get the systems and automated marketing in place so that you're not working so hard, right? I mean, that is my professional purpose, is to help people prosper with their own purpose and monetize what it is they're doing in their business. That's my professional purpose, okay? But I was confused when I wrote the book, Love Yourself Successful. I was like, okay, now what am I, right? Am I that, am I the jumpstart your biz coach anymore or am I more of a love and money mentor or do I go that direction, right? And I'm sharing this with you, hopefully that you'll you'll be able to identify maybe a, a point in your life where this is making sense for you to, and, and now it's super clear for me, now that I've outlined it into three steps. So the the book is my inner story. That is my big big purpose is to heal the hearts of women is to help people not settle in their love relationships so entrepreneurs especially and people who want to be entrepreneurs tend to ignore their personal life tend to settle in their personal lives sometimes and just go for the money and go for the business and try to build the business and focus, focus, focus on the business and they ignore their personal life. So my goal with the book and really what I'm here on the planet to do in a bigger scope is to heal the hearts of women and let us know that we are, we deserve more. We deserve whatever it is we want in a love relationship and for ourselves. And then when we get that, we become happier um, more filled with joy, more passion for our business, more motivation to actually go and do the marketing that we need to do, more clarity around what it is we're doing and why we're here. And we have that support system around us with friends and family and loved ones um, that allows, that pushes us up, that lifts us up, not holds us down. You can't be around people that hold you down. So my purpose uh, in a global way is to really help entrepreneurs and business women especially but men too have this issue to get to that next stage to get to um, complete happiness because that will bring you more success and more money in your business it will it just will if you're not happy and you're not motivated and you're not being supported in your personal life from people that love you then you're gonna have a hard time making those big money goals that you want to make or making a huge difference in the world it is going to be a struggle. So I encourage you to, to um, well, read the book, right? <laughs> and figure out how to get out of that mess and how to stop settling or how to fix what it is you have so that you have both the love and the money. And one thing I left out of the book, I had a, um, a formula in the book, love plus money equals complete happiness. And one thing I realized just recently was that I was missing the health component. I know. I, I will admit it. I'm one of those people who hides my head in the sand when it comes to taking care of my health. Okay. And now I have to have surgery. Be, not because of it, but just, you know, I just have to have surgery. So it woke me up to going, oh, in order to be completely happy, I really need to be healthy and not in pain. <laughs> so love, money, and health equals complete happiness. So when I do the second edition of the book, I'm going to have to add that back in. But that's my new equation. And hey, it's always evolving, right? So I want to encourage you to always evolve, always learn, always grow, and always motivate yourself to, to, to get you where you want to go. Uncover your own needs. I have a great teleseries coming up. Actually, it starts next Monday after Thanksgiving. Um, so if you're watching this, you know, there is, you can still get the recording. But it's, it's all about this internal stuff. And it's all about paying attention to your personal life and your purpose and your evolution of you so that you can be the best self you can so that you can go attract more clients in your business, okay? It does all flow together. So I would love for you to come and check out the teleclass. Right now, there's still spots at the $97 level. If you go to loveyourselfsuccessful.com forward slash teleseries, loveyourselfsuccessful.com forward slash teleseries, you can get access to that um, a three part. It's a three night, three week um, teleseries where I'm going to be walking you through a lot of different steps um, 
in this process. You can go read that page. Um, there's also a free call I did, actually, that explains this a little bit more. So if you want more information about this and you missed my free teleclass, go listen to the free teleclass first if you want. But hurry, because the teleseries starts soon if you want to make that for $97. Otherwise, it's going up to $197 after the first 30 people. So the free teleclass is at katrinasawa.com forward slash love. katrinasawa.com forward slash love. So free call and then the teleseries. You're going to want it all. If this is remotely resonating with you, I want to help you on your journey. So I hope to talk with you soon. Have a great day, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving.